Hey everybody, this is Steve Toth from seonotebook.com where I share my weekly strategy tips, tools, and basically my best knowledge with over 15,000 subscribers. So if you wanna be one of them and get access to cool spreadsheets, tips, and tools, just sign up and subscribe, it's totally free. All right, so today's note is gonna be about a spreadsheet that I have been really hard at work on and it's just an idea that came to me when I was um, looking at a LinkedIn post of the uh, founder of this Google Docs add-on. And basically he had a post where he brought in a sitemap and then brought in the last modified date <clears throat> using his add-on. So what I decided to do was take that exact functionality, improve it by being able to add multiple sitemaps and also layering in Ahrefs traffic data, which is super cool. So let me quick you quickly show you how the sheet functions and then I'm going to show you how to set it up because it does take a few steps. All right, so the first thing is this curated tab. This is the tab with the columns that I wanted to see. You can sort this by things like uh, what is the traffic change, what is the last modified date, and then what are all the metrics that go with the pages that they've been modifying recently, uh, what is the traffic change, um, you can sort that ascending and descending. Here we can see that the New York Times Wirecutter has released an article on best disposable cameras, which already got over 25,000 clicks um, just by virtue of being published recently. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can look at what is the only the new content that they've published and um, what are its metrics. Um, we can look at what is the refresh content and what are the metrics associated with that. You can basically get, you know, your entire, you can basically have a window into what your competitor is doing on a monthly basis in terms of which content they're refreshing, how it's doing, what content they're releasing that's new, and how it's doing, and what are the trends basically associated with all that. So now that you kind of get an idea about what the sheet does and all the different things that you can filter by, which is any one of these columns, um, let's get into how we actually set up the the, the, uh, the sheet. So you're gonna make a copy, and I've done that already here. And one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is install um, import from the web. So this uh, is the um, Google uh, Sheets add-on that you're gonna need to basically bring in the XML sitemaps. It has a free trial, so you should be able to get going once you start on that. So once you have that installed, you're gonna see it up here and you're going to want to activate the add-on. I already have it activated, but once you do that, a little thing's gonna pop up on the right-hand side, which you can then close. And then now that you can do that, you're able to um, use a formula called import from the web, which basically takes that XML sitemap and gives us the URLs and the last modification dates for each one. So now that um, I have that activated, um, I'm going to look at the URLs tab. <clears throat> um, oh, sorry, this is actually the uh, not the copy. So I'm gonna look at the URLs tab and you can see here, this says URLs not filled. So that means I need to start entering my sitemap into uh, this uh, tab here. So to get the sitemap, you can Google like your competitor XML sitemap. Um, you can also go to their robots.txt file and grab the sitemap from there. So in this case, I'm gonna do the wire cutter, uh, New York Times wire cutter, and I'm going to paste that into A1 and see what comes up. I'm gonna go over to URLs, and now I can see that they've actually got multiple sitemaps. So this means that each one of these sitemaps um, refers to different pages that have been posted. So the version that the person posted on LinkedIn, you can only look at one sitemap, but the version um, that I'm using, um, that I've created, uh, can actually handle multiple sitemaps. So I'm gonna post in, uh, paste in all those sitemaps into that, and now you'll see the URL start, start to populate. Uh, this will just take a second because there are multiple sitemaps um, happening here, and now they are, uh, have populated here. So this is step one, where I've got all the uh, last mod and all the URLs for those sitemaps combined. But now what I want is I want the Ahrefs data, which you can see there's nothing in here right now. So I'm gonna open up the tab that says Ahrefs data, and I'm going to put in that subfolder, New York Times Wirecutter, and I'm gonna select path because I wanna see all of the um, 
articles uh, that are on this slug, right? So I don't want all of New York Times, I only want wire cutter. So then I just go like that and then hit path, right? So now that's going to show me all of the top pages. So you're gonna go to again, this top pages report right here, and I'm gonna click export. Now I've already done that. And you can see here that I've got all that data uh, from Ahrefs. I exported all the rows, um, which I would recommend. And once you have um, all the rows, uh, you're gonna wanna go to, into this Ahrefs tab and you're going to just paste that in place. This is going to take a while because there are 3,000 rows, but once it populates, you'll see now that we have all the Ahrefs data in here, and now all of this is going to be populated and lined up, right? So now I can see on my uh, curated tab, which is not the all data tab, which is for me the important ones that I, I wanna look at, um, I can see their current traffic, the traffic change, the current traffic value, the traffic value change, um, the number of keywords, the number of keywords that have changed, the current top keyword, the current top keyword volume, and then what the position of that keyword is. So cool. Um, so, you know, I can just show you here, for example, if I wanna look at last mod, this is going to show us um, as of, you know, March 13th, which is today, the day that I'm recording this, here are all the, um, uh, recently modified pages that um, New York Times has the wire cutter has basically done to their site so we can see here all the pages that they have refreshed lately we can see what their traffic changes we can see what their number is we can see what their total traffic value is um, if we want to look at only new articles we can uh, do that here very easily and we can see for example um, you know they published that disposable cameras um, uh, article that got a bunch of instant traffic right away. They did that for deals less than 50, how to clean Birkenstocks, etc. So if you see your competitor here who, who's ranking right away with, um, you know, pretty, they're right, they're ranking right away for pretty good keywords, um, that gives you a sense that, you know, you've got some pretty stiff competition. If under this new tab you see a lot of like zeros or very low numbers, you know that they're probably gonna take a while to rank and not, not rank instantly. So it helps you gauge your competition as well. So there's just so many different ways that you can use this sheet. I would love it if you shared them with me, steve at seonotebook.com. That's my email, just let me know how you're using the sheet. And again, if you found this useful, head over to seonotebook.com, subscribe, it's totally free and you'll get tips like that in your inbox every week, every Tuesday at 9.30. All right, that's pretty much it, and I hope to see you on the next note. Take care, bye.